Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Snyder. I'm a neurosurgeon at Neurologic Surgery PC. Uh, I specialize in the surgical treatment of movement disorders. I was hoping to talk to you today a little bit about movement disorders, the surgery we can do to help patients with some of these disorders. Uh, deep brain stimulation is the most common procedure we think about when we think about surgery for movement disorders. This is a procedure that has been around for approximately 25 years. The most common types of patients we operate on with deep brain stimulation are patients with Parkinson's disease, essential tremor, and dystonia, although at times we may consider patients with many other movement disorders, such as other tremors, uh, Tourette's syndrome, uh, and uh, other diseases as well. Uh, we typically think about operating on patients with movement disorders when best medical management fails to provide optimal medical uh, treatment of the disorder. So patients with Parkinson's disease that are well controlled on Cinemet without any significant side effects typically are not patients we're going to operate on. Similarly, if you have essential tremor and you take medication and your tremor goes away and you have no side effects of that medication, we rarely consider operating. Unfortunately, many patients with movement disorders do not obtain adequate control with medication alone, and at those times we think about deep brain stimulation. I have extensive experience in taking care of patients with movement disorders, and we have significant benefit with deep brain stimulation. Uh, for some patients with DBS, this can be miraculous. Patients can be feeding themselves, taking care of themselves, walking better, taking less medication or no medication, etc. I work with a multidisciplinary team of physicians that helps us identify the right patients for surgery, that helps us do the surgery safely and effectively with the optimal result. We would be happy to see any patients with any questions about their movement disorder and whether or not they could be a candidate for surgery in the office. Thank you very much.